Now let us run some commands and see the difference between the background and the foreground processes. First thing first, uh, we run the command sleep two. Right, so it will the bash will wait for two seconds for output to return. Now this process that we just ran, it is a foreground process. Now we can just make it as a background, for example, sleep 10, a space, and an ampersand at the end, and we hit enter. So now this is a background process that is running. So we done the command jobs, and you can see that this sleep 10 command is running at the background, right? So let us now clear the screen and start from the scratch. Now you can see that the above process is being done. So let me just clear the screen again and we'll start from the scratch. So we run the command sleep. Let's suppose we keep it as 50 seconds, give an ampersand and hit enter. We run the command again, enter again enter again enter so we have run sleep space 50 space symbol ampersand and all these are running at the background let's run one more command and we'll just increase its value let's suppose to 70 seconds right so let's see you all these processes are running in the background. So let's run the command jobs and you can see all these things that have all these commands that have run, they're running in the background. Or I'm saying that all these processes are running in the background. Now this fifth process, if you see the pl plus sign, which means this is our last or the latest process. And this minus C, this is our previous process, right? So all these processes from one to five are running in the background. Let's suppose if I have to keep any one of the processes in the foreground, so I'll run the command FG space. So I want to keep this fifth process in the foreground. So I'll just hit five, enter. So sleep 70 process is in the is in the foreground. Let's suppose that we have to keep that in the background now. So I'll just run the command control Z. Right, it's been stopped. And I'll just keep this process to the background now. So I'll just run the command BG space 5. Right, so it is in the background. So I'll just run the command jobs. And you can see my previous processes up to 4 have been processed. And the last command or the last process is still running. Right, so that's the difference between managing our background and our foreground processes.